Hey everybody, Mike Wardinsky here from NatureMike.com and today I've got a quick tip video to show you why you should create a custom workspace in Photoshop, how to save it, and also how to load it if you need to. On the left hand side of the screen here you can see I've got some windows right here that I can kind of turn on and off. These are accessible from the Windows tab. I also have some plugins nested right here my toolbar and then some more windows over here on the right hand side and i really like this layout for photography now i'm not going to go into the entire layout if you want to see how i set up my layout for photography you can go ahead and watch the video in the upper right hand corner of the screen right now this video is simply going to focus on the workspace itself and not the how and why of every single window so there's a couple of reasons to set up a custom workspace. One might be that you work on different types of projects. So maybe you want one workspace for photography and another workspace for graphics or printing. And the biggest reason for setting up a custom workspace and then saving it is in case you accidentally lose some of these windows or panels, it's very easy to accidentally grab one and drag it off. And then if you hit this X, it completely disappears. And there's no one doing this action. So instead of trying to figure out what window you accidentally deleted, it's much easier to come up here to where it says window and then go to workspace. And I already have one saved here called Wardinsky Photo 25. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you can see my workspace automatically gets restored to the way I like it. Saving a workspace is easy. All you need to do is set it up the way you want it. And then we will go to window, workspace, and then new workspace. And we get this dialog box to pop up and I'm just going to call this test workspace. And I'm going to go ahead and save my menus and my toolbar. If you have custom keyboard shortcuts, you can also save those. And when you're done, you can go ahead and hit save. Now we go back up to window and go to workspace. You can see I have test workspace loaded. And if I accidentally move some things around, let's move our toolbar. We'll go ahead and throw our properties away and get rid of the layers. So we've kind of completely screwed this up. Now, if we go to Window, Workspace, Reset Test Workspace, everything goes back to where it was. If I want to load a different workspace, simply head up to Window, Workspace, and I can choose any of the other workspaces that I've saved. Now I'm going to go back to my Wardinsky Photo 2025, which is the exact same as that test workspace that I just created. That's it for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe and then go ahead and watch that video in the upper left hand corner to continue your Photoshop journey.